Uh, my name is Miss Hosford, I'm a psychology teacher here at Ralph Allen. Uh, welcome to our slightly different um, presentation about what A-level psychology is all about. I'm going to fill you in a little bit about what the course involves, so you can see the types of things that you would study. Uh, the course is split into three papers. The first paper covers these topics, social influence, memory, attachment and psychopathology. So with social influence we'd cover things like um, why do people conform, why do we obey, why do we sometimes go along with the crowd when we don't agree with what we're really doing? Why do we sometimes feel we have the ability to say no and stick with our own ideas rather than following the crowd? We study human memory. This is the topic that we begin with normally in year 12. So we look at how our short-term and our long-term memory functions, why we forget, different theories of forgetting. We look at how the police use eyewitness testimony as a way of gathering information to help them with their uh, their crimes and that's all relying on somebody's memory of an event so we look at the problems that are involved with that. And we also study called, something called attachment so this is looking at the bond between babies or children and their caregivers so we look at how that bond forms, what happens in situations where children are unable to have the opportunity to form the bonds and we also look at cultural variations and explanations for why attachment actually forms between infants and caregivers. And lastly, we look at psychopathology. So this might be a bit of what you're more likely to expect from, uh, from psychology. So this is the mental health topic. We look at OCD, depression and phobias. And we look at the symptoms of the disorder, the explanations for the disorder, and then the possible treatments. So all of that makes up a two hour paper, but that is a few months study in the beginning of year 12. Other things that you would study are uh, forming what would be our paper two, so the second exam. We look at the common um, approaches in psychology. So these are like the schools of thought, the biolog biological psychologists, the humanistic psychologists, the behavioural psychologists, and they all have their own set of assumptions about human behaviour and they try to explain different behaviours from their point of view. We also study biopsychology, so for those students that also study biology, this is a really good overlap. Um, we look at different structures of the brain, we look at different rhythms in the body, like our sleep patterns, our menstrual cycle, we look at seasonal affective disorder, we study the different hemispheres of the brain and which hemisphere controls what behaviour, and also then more specifically the locations of the brain and what they do. Um, and then lastly, we also look at research methods. This is a really big part of the course. Psychology is a science, so therefore the theory that has been developed has been gathered from research. Researchers have designed, planned, conducted, analysed their data. So we have to look at different ways in which researchers could do that. This unit here counts for more than any of the other units. Uh, and then in paper three, these are the types of things that you would study in the second year of the course. So there are choices, but the choices are made by the school. So for the last few years, we have taught um, relationships. So this is mostly romantic relationships. Who are we attracted to and why? How do relationships break down? Um, what is used to help maintain a relationship? We look at understudied relationships or virtual relationships. How we communicate with people now in computer-mediated communication. Um, students generally find this one really interesting, they can really relate to it and it's one of the more enjoyable ones that we study. Uh, we also study in year two schizophrenia, so we take one mental health disorder and we study it in a lot more depth, so more than one explanation for why schizophrenia could have arisen, more than one possible treatment and then a real exploration of the diagnosis of that disorder and, and what it actually looks like. And then lastly, a popular one that is new to the specification is we also study forensic psychology. So we look at different ways in which profilers might help the police create a profile of who uh, the offender may be. We look at the causes of offender behaviour and we also look at how we could deal with offending behaviour. So three papers that cover a real range of topics. As I already said, you'd sit three papers, so you actually get three exams at the end of your second year. All three papers are of the same importance, they're all two hours each. Um, one of the common features of the psychology course here at Ralph Allen is that there are unfortunately regular assessments or tests all throughout the year, but students actually get into the habit of preparing for those and find them beneficial. So you would have a fortnightly test where you reflect on what we've learned for that two weeks, you have a test, and then you improve your answers based on that feedback. There is no coursework within psychology, so just be aware that it's all exam-based at the end of the course. 
Some of the things we do in the lessons are probably similar to some of the other subjects, but um, there is a lot of class or group discussion because on the whole you learn something at home and then you prepare your notes and then you come to the lesson with me and then we unpick it and consolidate it and try and work out the bits that were tricky and help each other out. Uh, there are textbooks that you would use um, frequently, so you'd be expected to buy your own textbook and then bring it to every lesson and then you'd use this to form your note taking. Um, you get handouts and things, but a lot of work is done independently from the book before the lessons. Um, you may be expected to watch other people's presentations or present your own, but that's not um, particularly common in the course. We would look through past exam papers, so you'd answer questions as part of your lesson or for your formal tests that are only using real exam paper questions, so you can get used to those. Um, we use a social media, we use Twitter with a Ralph Allen Psych Twitter page for me to share extended reading or to point out things that are on the television that would be relevant to watch, to share photos of your work, to share examples of students' work from elsewhere. Um, less so at the moment, but we have had guest speakers in and we can do it virtually this year. So having people come in who've got careers in psychology or who work in really interesting areas. Um, you do get to watch documentaries. That's one of the perks maybe of psychology, that there are lots of really relevant things that are on Channel 4 or Netflix that can really bring the course to life. Um, and in previous years, we have run book groups and um, had the opportunity for students to do some wider reading and discuss some of the things. I'll let the students fill you in on writing essays for the course, but there is writing involved, but it's not too much. Okay, uh, that's just a reminder that there is the Twitter page. It's Ralph Allen Psych. Um, if you wanted to follow it and find out more about the course. Uh, and then lastly, some of the careers that could lead from um, further study of psychology. It's a really useful subject because actually it's got loads of transferable skills and it could lead to a range of careers. So we've got things up here like a psychotherapist, so somebody that might be offering counselling or support for a particular disorder. Uh, people that are involved in recruitment might be helping businesses work out who's best for their teams and to help attract those people and then to train them. Forensic psychologists, so working alongside the police, looking at profiling and who could have committed crimes and why. Uh, sports psychology, so something totally different. A lot of students get interested in sports psychology. You could work as an educational psychologist, so helping students with additional needs and helping schools deliver um, education that supports those children. Uh, and there's many more, so it's a really varied career path that could lead from a study of psychology. Hello, we are three Year 13 psychology students um, and we're just going to like talk to you about our experiences. Uh, so in terms of the workload, like Miss said, we kind of just, Miss tells us what page we're going to be working on the next lesson and then we go and write it and then it means we can like, if we don't understand something, we can just like put a question or something and then we go through it with the teacher, which is quite good because it means we get to like do it twice, if you know what I mean, before we revise it. So that's quite manageable, it's not like really strenuous homework, like you can do it listening to music and things, which is quite nice. Um, and as Miss talked about the tests, they're fine, they're every fortnight, but they're helpful and like we should have them, I think. And then we leave them like along the side, we have like all our grades written down in a nice area, so we know which ones were better and which ones weren't. And they're only like, the maximum time they'd be is about like 40 minutes. Um, and it's only on like the things we've just learned, so it's not, it's not that bad. And in terms of revision, quite easy-ish to revise, obviously it's an A-level so it's not easy, but it links quite well to GCSE in terms of revision because there's lots of like practice papers and so yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, and part of, I mean it's not quite revision, but also you can watch like Netflix shows and I like to read a lot of books and they all kind of um, tie into what we're <laughs> studying. Um, so I do chemistry and biology alongside psychology and I find that biology and psychology are a really good combination. We do a topic called biopsych and it's got oh, such a nice crossover because then we study the same subject, the same topic in both subjects, so it's like revising for both. Um, and then yeah, and basically I do like artsy subjects and English literature, so we all do quite different subjects, but we find it still really relevant and I didn't really like maths at GCSE or sciences and I don't find biopsych very hard and um, it's all really manageable and I still find it interesting. So the lessons for psychology are probably the most enjoyable out of um, my other A-levels because they're very, because we've done the notes before, um, it's more of a conversation, we're more chatting about what we've already learnt rather than 
hearing the content for the first time, so it's really nice, especially with the class, once you all get to know each other, um, yeah, it's just really nice discussion, more of just straightforward teaching. <laughs> um, we love psychology because it's really relevant to everyday life, and there's loads of links into other subjects and things, and um, like doing memory and relationships and mental disorders, they apply into everyday life and to yourself so I find that really like interesting it makes me really like motivated to do it and work yeah and I'm definitely I'm considering a career maybe in it but I'm not sure what yet but even if I do there's like so many fields you can go down like I like criminology I like education and they all kind of link so that's good